Welcome back everyone. I've got some new workflows to show you. A couple of them are for the LTX video pack. One of them is a captioner for the Mochi video captioning. Also another approach using a Claude Assistant, which I did a tutorial on recently, and one for the community chest. So again, if you want to submit your workflows, we can probably include them if it's for the LTX V model. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button, because YouTube ain't going to tell you. If you submit them in the Discord, we've got a special group where you can submit your JSON. Obviously, I'll open them up and take a look first, but most of the time we can include them, so we'll do our best. Uh, there's two new updates for the LTX Trix model, uh, custom nodes. So this would be LTX V. Very simple. All you do is you add in this little section here. It gives you perturbed attention for LTX V. It's got the attention override 14. These are the deep, these are the settings that I've used. And all I've done is add that into one of the previous uh, workflows that I've made. So this is being referred to as STG. All right. And like I said, it comes from the LTX Trix custom node pack. So what we've got is we've added that in. I've still got the detailer daemon here. Obviously, if you don't want to use that, you can just control B. So the quality on this is actually pretty good. You're getting some really good quality video out of this. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but that looks pretty amazing considering that the speed of these generations is just insane with LTXV. It does kind of underline the point, though, that, uh, you know, it was just a question of getting the nodes and everything else all lined up. I think the perturbed stuff and the detailer demon have really gone together and given us a nice result. I've still got my uh, transition thing running with a bit of interpolation. We're using Rife at the end here to slow it down. Um, but yeah, essentially this is looking really nice. So I've added that to the to the uh, LTX V pack in the latest Zoda release. They also had a new one, which is image video to video. The reason is because you're injecting a frame and you're running a video. So we've got the video here, which is a clip from June 2. And then we've got, or, or rather, it's a clip from a GIF of the, you know, it's like an... <laughs> and what we've done is we've added in the image, which was extracted from that, okay? And I've gone with center crop. And it originally had, like, a subtitle on it, and the subtitle was gone. Changed it into some Korean or something, right? It's not as sharp as the previous, but remember, this is an image to video result, Okay. And so what I've done is I've taken the video itself and then I've taken a still from the video and I've added that in with my prompt. Now, I tried a whole bunch of different prompts. I tried using One Vision. I tried using Florence 2. And then I also, in the end, the best one was my uh, agent. So if you take a look, I've got the LTXV video prompt gen, which you can find on my GitHub. And essentially... What you do is you put the image in and say, provide me with a video prompt. Uh, I said, repeat the task so I could test it with two different prompts. And as I say, these prompts are actually fine tuned on the LTXV examples. So they're pretty accurate to the model and it's going to hook in and align nicely. So that would be the, uh, the video. So it's image video to video because you have a video loaded and an image. Um, I did test this out with the perturbed, but it didn't, it didn't offer any improvement. I have uh, added in the detailer demon stuff, which we like over here, but I've not used any special settings. I think these are, might be the community, community settings that everyone figured out in the discord. So, you know, feel free to mess around with those. All right. And then the next thing is I've added a new community workflow to the, uh, Zoda pack. So this one was submitted by Toad in the Discord, and I think it's got like image to image and text to image. You can change it with the switch here. So he's set this up. Um, it gives a pretty cool result, so I've included it. It can be a little bit chaotic, but that's fine. Do you know what I mean? It is a good result when you get a nice video coming out of here. Depends what your prompt is, depends what your image is, you know. So there's that to bear in mind. And then lastly, we have the One Vision Video Captioner. So this is going to be part of my Mochi Dataset Creator collection. 
the whole point uh, was that the uh, One Vision was too slow. So a lot of people asked for the Florence uh, version. So now there's going to be a V55, which is exactly the same as the One Vision um, workflow, but it's using F uh, Florence to run with the Florence to, to base prompt gen 2.0. And as you can see here, it's giving a pretty good prompt. If you can see that there, I just don't hang on that for too long. And that's the same image which I was just messing around with from June. So there it is. That's pretty much everything I had to show you. This is just a quick workflow roundup. There will be a live stream tonight, so don't forget to uh, keep an eye out for that. I'll put a ping up on the Discord. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.